With one of the lowest population densities in the world, this country is almost completely engulfed by pristine natural landscapes. It's composed of endless swaths of untouched spaces, punctuated by the occasional hut or a herd of sheep. Very few countries in the world have a rich, albeit complicated history like this one. From the imperialist reign of the fierce Genghis Khan, whose kingdom stretched from the edges of eastern China to Persia, to the interwined communist rule, this paradise on earth has seen a lot. Join us as we explore the rolling grasslands, soaring mountains, thick forests, serene lakes, and sand dunes of Mongolia. Let's begin our journey in the sprawling city of Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia's capital. Home to nearly half of the country's population, this city is located in the delightful valley of the Golden Cradle, where the Selbe and the Tul River meet. The city is a strange yet intoxicating blend of nomadic and urban lifestyles. Nearly 100 years after the Mongolian Revolution that paved the way for communist rule in Mongolia, the country still bears the vestiges of the political past. In Ulaanbaatar, the grey and concrete facades associated with Soviet architecture dot the landscape alongside modern structures, whereas museums like the Victims of Political Persecution Museum are stark reminders of that period. You'll also get a chance to explore some enchanting old monasteries scattered around the city. Gandan Teg Chilen and Choijin Lama are the best of the lot. It's worth spending a few days in the capital city, exploring the endless collections and artifacts at the Bogd Khan Winter Palace or Mongolia National Modern Art Gallery. 50 kilometers outside the capital, a gigantic statue of the fierce warrior Genghis Khan atop his famed horse glimmers in the light as he imperiously looks out over the gorgeous steppe and, and mountains surrounding the complex. The Genghis Khan statue complex was built to honor the 800th anniversary of the founding of the Mongol Empire. Its breathtaking size and sheer scale are certainly fitting of the man who is considered a national hero in the country. Despite its communist past, more than half of the country's residents are proudly Buddhist. By visiting one of the many monasteries that are surrounded by humbling vistas, you'll find a deep sense of calm. Known as the Monastery of Tranquil Felicity, the Amar Bayas Galant Monastery is one of the three largest Buddhist monastic centers in Mongolia. Nestled in the Ivangal River Valley, which features a verdant hilly landscape, the natural theater sprawling around the temple complex and its 28 temples is a dream come true. In addition to the compound which once housed more than 40 temples and was the final resting place of the artist monk Zana Bazar, an artist monk, you can also revel in the beauty of some lovely sculptures that are poised against the green bays of the scenery. If you've not satiated your thirst to learn about the history and culture of the Mongols, head to Karakorum, the ancient city of the Mongol Empire, known among locals as Har Horind, the ancient city that is now in ruins, with endless azure skies and steps in every direction. The main site here is the Grand Erdin Zoo Monastery, built out of the remnants of the ruined city in 1585, one of the earliest surviving monasteries in the country. The complex has three magnificent temples, gorgeous statues, carvings, and an array of stupas that line its long wall. With the ever-changing terrain, blue skies, and incredible gorgeous landscapes, it's time to flock right into the wilds of Mongolia for a chance at some heart-racing adventures, picturesque views, and camping sites. Head to the Altai Tavan Bolg National Park, situated on the borders of China and Russia in the western part of the country for a taste of pristine nature. The park features five of the tallest mountain peaks in the country and is home to majestic glaciers, lakes, and a 10-meter waterfall. Explore the archaeological sites of this location, including the petroglyph complexes of the Mongolian Altai, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. If you are truly serious about seeing the most remote parts of the country, book the annual 100-mile trek through the soaring Altai Mountains. The trekking trail follows the movements of hundreds of Kazakhs who brave the freezing temperatures to reach Western Mongolia, where they've gathered food and herd their animals. 
When you are in the northwest part of the country, drop by one of the oldest lakes in the world. Lake Kolfskol, the dark blue pearl. The serene freshwater lake is a sight to behold. Its colors change from aquamarine to the deepest blue depending on the season. The taiga, an evergreen forest that stretches over Serbia, encapsulates the lake with pine trees and meadows. If you go further up north, you can interact with the Santan people who live amongst an abundance of wildlife including moose, ibex, reindeer, and yaks. In late February and March, this remote destination comes alive with the ice festival when the lake freezes over. If you're brave enough to face the harsh temperatures, you can get an amazing opportunity to see spectacular ice sculptures and musical performances. It looks like a scene right out of Frozen. The Gorky Terilej National Park to the northeast of Ulan Bartar is a national treasure and a paradise for outdoor activities. Its sweeping landscapes and natural attractions attract tourists from all over the world who wish to explore the unspoiled land on camels or horseback. In the tourist zone, before the Terilej River, there are several yurt camps and resorts to stay in. You could also seek out one of the many yurt campsites where you'll find luxurious amenities like heated tents and warm handmade yak blankets. They also offer several activities for you to enjoy like sunrise horseback rides around the soaring granite mountains with forest covered slopes, wildflower meadows and gurgling rivers and streams. You may also spot a roe deer, fox, wolf or boar if you're lucky. A visit to Mongolia would be incomplete without exploring one of the magnificent steppes. The Dornod Mongolia steppe is one of the largest protected grassland ecosystems on earth. It is a wildlife photographer's dream for the impressive landscape is bustling with about 40,000 Mongolian white-tailed gazelles that migrate through the area annually. For another great example of steppes, head to the Hustai Nuru National Park where you'll be greeted by over 200 species of birds, over 40 mammals, and the most magnificent of all, the elusive Przewalski horses, the last wild horses on earth. At the park, there's also a lovely gurg camp to stay in, where you can also enjoy a gastronomic journey with authentic Mongolian food. Try the mutton dishes that are served with buttery dumplings called booze or flaky kushur pastries. You can also enjoy the flavors of hearty stews or souvian or noodle dishes that have a hint of Chinese culinary influence. A bit of a heads up though, don't expect many fresh veggies outside the city. The rural people of Mongolia thrive on animal protein and starchy carbs to help them withstand the freezing temperatures. The harsh, unforgiving climate of the expansive Gobi Desert is not for the faint of heart, which perhaps makes it all the more exhilarating to explore. Venturing into the Gobi Desert is an adventure of a lifetime. With infinite dunes, ancient rock formations, and a desolate expanse of space stretching for miles before you. The main attraction here is the incredible singing dunes of Kongor, where the wind blowing over the rolling sands creates a sound akin to an airplane's engine. Tucked away amid the strangely alluring landscape of the desert are a wealth of natural sights with rugged cliffs, cavernous caves, and plunging canyons, including the flaming cliffs locally called the Ulan Ereg or Red Cliffs. Every evening, the sun lights up these sandstone cliffs, bathing them in stunning hues of red and orange. The spectacular scenery of Yolin Am and Dunjinijin, paired with desert oases and saltwater rivers, ensures that you're going to have the time of your life in the Gobi Desert, provided you stick to your path, of course. One of the best ways to soak up Mongolia's rich history and culture is to visit the country during the annual Nadam festival, which takes place every July. The festival combines some of the most important and traditional aspects of culture, from wrestling competitions and horse races to delicious culinary offerings and vibrant cultural performances. There are a lot of activities to enjoy here. Pear, a kushur, which is like a deep-fried lamb hop pocket with air rig, or fermented mare's milk for an explosion of flavor. Another festival you could catch is the Eagle Festival in Western Mongolia, which takes place on the first weekend of October. Hundreds of eagle hunters gather on horseback to show off their skills like eagle calling and hunting small animals with their golden eagles. Our thrilling journey of Mongolia concludes over here. 
Still relatively untouched by modern life, Mongolia offers you a true look into life off the grid. You can venture into this historic wild with epic horses, climb up to Buddhist temples, or stay in a luxurious yurt under a canvas of stars. A trip here is the perfect antidote to bustling city life. Which was your favorite spot? Comment below. And as always, like and share the video if you enjoyed it, and catch us in the next country by subscribing.